Hello on Fedora 40 workstation, which is using the GNOME shell desktop. When we install KD applications such as Kate, icons will be missing today. We're going to fix that issue. So first of all, let's install one KD application. I'll open the terminal, become super user, install Kate. Go yes. Look at the list of packages that are being installed. A ton of KD frameworks libraries, other KD libraries, Qt libraries, Qt6. One hundred twenty-four RPM packages in total. Okay, the installation is complete. Let's open a new tab. Control Shift D works correctly. We can open the home directory in Kate. And uh, immediately we can see that it doesn't look okay. Why? Because we don't know what this button does. Clear recent files. This button probably should have a broom icon. This button should probably have a terminal icon, then there are even more hidden issues where this plugin, so these uh, symbols, language server protocol, tool window is hidden completely, and also this other gate um, side tool window is hidden completely, which is the project's view, because there is no icon in the current icon theme that's being set in um, Fedora 40 workstation, which is using GNOME shell. So the current icon theme, the default one, is called Advaita, and this is lacking 90% of the icons that used to exist in previous free desktop, uh, .org compliant icon themes, such as the GNOME icon theme, which was last released in the year 2014, or the KD default icon theme, which is Breeze, or the previous KD icon theme, which is Oxygen. Okay, so the application Kate is not functional enough because it, people just don't know that in here there's a tool window or in here. Yeah, all of the icons in the main menu are missing, but this is not such a crippling problem. Whereas the fact that you have no clue what this button does, or even if it's a button, you might uh, confuse it for a edit field or something, or this button, or this button. That's a really bad problem. Okay. The fix is to use the default KD icon theme, which is named Breeze icon theme. So let's do that. Back to the terminal. Let's see what icon themes we have installed currently. So that's RPM minus QA grab icon. Let's increase the font size. So we currently only have high color icon theme, which only contains directories, not files. And add weight the icon theme, which contains around, I don't know, 200 PNG files and then 500 SVG files. But this is way, way less than all of the other full featured free desktop.org compliant icon themes, such as Breeze, Oxygen, or the GNOME icon theme from the year 2014. Okay. So the fix is to go DNF search and then breeze and then grab by icon. The name of the package is this one, breeze icon theme. DNF install 
and middle click paste. Yes. It's 10 megabytes in size because it contains a ton of PNGs, whereas um, the SVG ones might be smaller because SVG is just plain text and that compresses so well inside of the RPM file. Okay, let's restart uh, Kate. And now we can see all of the missing icons, which is this icon for the symbol outline, this icon for the projects tool window, icons in the bottom tool windows so for terminal, project, output, and search. Even the search icon is missing. The only thing that's not coming from the default KD icon theme, which is named Breeze, are the icons that are really bold, really not one uh, pixel lines, but thicker lines. So these documents, the Git one, and this one with diagnostics. All of the rest, you can see them extremely thin, are the ones coming from uh, the Breeze icon theme. All of the icons from the menu, from the main menu of Kate, uh, are from the Breeze icon theme. And you can go even further, look at all of the possible actions in Kate, which you can find them in here, find action. Most of them should have icons and do have icons if you're using the Breeze icon theme. The Breeze icon theme does not need to be the default one in your GNOME shell. It just needs to be available and installed because Kate and KD frameworks, at least on Fedora 40 workstation, will fall back correctly if in the current icon theme there isn't an icon then we will fall back to the Breeze icon theme. Okay, and also in the toolbars editor, you can see all of the actions possible. Okay, so most of the icons of the actions do have an icon. Okay. And the contrast is if we uninstall the package Breeze icon theme. Run Kate again. And now only the icons that were bought previously coming from the Adwaita team are available. So the one for the diagnostics tool window. Look at this button missing icon. So there are some buttons and some actions which do not have any text, only have an icon. And uh, because the icon is missing from the Adwaita icon theme, those buttons become totally unusable in Kate and many other KD applications. So this button, this button, this button, this button, these buttons, all of these. What can you do with a button that doesn't have text on it, should have an icon, but cannot have an icon because it cannot find any icon. So now the button is just empty. Okay. And all of the main menu items stop having icons. Okay, we can even look at the theme, the um, difference between the two themes. So let's open in uh, the web browser the contents of the two themes and look at them side by side. Adwaita versus Breeze. So I have opened two web browsers side by side. 
I have search by Fedora package search and then the name of the RPM package, Adweta icon theme versus Breeze icon theme. Let's open them. Go to Fedora 40. And go to the list of files. So Breeze has um, icons with 12 pixels by 12 pixels, 16 pixels by 16 pixels. Ton of SVG files. Whereas Adweta has a way, way shorter, like at least, I know, 20 times less icons. There's uh, these 16 pixel PNGs for devices, emblems on top of um, directories, MIME types for um, categories of uh, file extensions and file types, and protocols, places for directories, and then that's it. So these are all of the files that are of um, not symbolic type. And then the rest of the ones are so-called scalable. So these were um, optimized for 16 pixels. And then there's scalable. And uh, these are SVGs. The previous ones used to be PNG 16 by 16 pixels. And the scalable ones of type SVG are for uh, hardware for uh, almost the same list of uh, file types, protocol types, directories, and then these directory symbolics. There's um, actions and um, hardware and emblems on top of directories and emoticons and what they call legacy. Again, file types, directories. Uh, these are for alarms and notifications. And um, some things for window management, tool windows. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is inside of the Adweta icon theme. Whereas the free desktop.org icon naming specification requires a long list of application of icons that do not exist with the mandated names in this theme. So let's search for that. Icon naming specification FDO. Okay. It's just a page and the page says like this. This list, so this uh, web page, provides a minimal list of must-have icons. So in our case, we are trying to see the icon for Inside Kate, we are trying to see this icon for the tool window terminal. So in here should be a terminal icon, Xterm or console or whatever icon. And that would be in the icon naming specification with we'll search for terminal. And we can find it in here. It's under the category standard application icons and its named utilities terminal. Let's search. This exact string is mandated. So there must be an icon with the extension SVG or PNG with the correct resolution, etc. But this icon must be named utilities terminal and must exist. Okay, so the name is this one, utilities minus terminal and is minimum, minimum. If you have an icon theme 
of course with um, your icon theme you can say that um, this icon theme will fall back to other icon themes so if your icon theme only has i know 20 icons for the directories and you can say in the index.theme um, file that you your uh, theme will fall back to another theme so when applications try to load icons that do not exist in your theme the conformant icon loader library will go to the fallback theme and fetch the icon from there but then adweta doesn't fall back to anything that provides this icon utilities terminal okay let's look at the for breeze so it's in here utilities terminal there's 16 pixel by 16 pixel all of the other resolutions even though it's just an svg file maybe it's the same it's just sim linked around whereas for adweta the only thing that exists is this one utilities terminal minus symbolic but if your search if uh, you're an application that asks for utilities minus terminal the icon loading library will not find this icon it will search for utilities terminal it will, might, might uh, search for utilities or something but it will never try the named utilities minus terminal minus symbolic okay and again this theme doesn't fall back to any other theme let's look at that so I have installed MC, which is the terminal text user interface file manager. Let's go to where the package at wait icon theme has installed its file. So that's cd slash usr share icons and at weta with an uppercase A. In there, there's the entry point file, which is index.theme. Let's open it, F4. And in here, it should say inherits from other icon themes that contain all of the icons that are missing from the Adweta icon theme and are ma mandated by the redesktop.org icon naming specification standard. But it only inherits from high color which high color is actually empty in Fedora. Let's look at high color files. So it's just empty directories. Not a single file, just directories. that's it so that's how Kate cannot load icon the icon for utilities minus terminal when running on Fedora 40 workstation the same applies also to the Linux operating system Fedora 40 XFC spin because even there add weight icon theme is the default icon theme so again the fix is just install the package this one breeze icon theme you don't need to have gnome tweaks installed and switch the default theme of gnome you in xfc you don't have to go to the settings appearance and change the current default icon theme from Adweta icon team to Breeze. You just install one RPM package. Thank you.